this is how it goes. So guys, I've been really um broadcasting that much because I'm busy with school. Yep. School. Then I have classes. I might not practice but I practice work. I have to um I have to what? Oh, I have to learn how to drive and um just by telling you that obviously how you know how to help you get a job. Yep. Job is me. Ha. Yeah, there's not a job. I don't have a job. I'm lonely. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to be a good guy. I will shoot anyone that has but piss me off though. Because um, that's how I am. So So I'm gonna get this. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. But I won. Gotta go fast. Okay, boy. Yeah. Ah! Man, this horse is <laughs> suspended. Oh, yeah, okay, boy. You're all right, boy. I think I had a shot at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, they don't want to catch me. Who the? Why are you here? I got some reprobates shambling around my backyard. Yesterday. Oh yeah, because <laughs> went straight to the wall. The, the, the raiders just like. I swear well, this place is going straight to hell. I like this. The name. I should probably get the. Glad you dropped in. I've got that uh information you asked for. Um, I need something specific this time a wagon full of moonshine well you might just be in luck I knew I picked the right feather to speak to man he loves you oh, I can't even read that that's what I say I'm breathing it I can't read that I have 13 dollars dang oh dear Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. Yeah, yeah, very droll. The hell? This guy want to get shot. Come on, boy. Um, let me see what's going on. Who is this one? Chain gang? Oh. Pretty hot. That's quite a price on you boys. 
It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... I'm burning them. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. See how kind That's I am. That's that, man. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first. See if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. But now you're planning to stick together? This larger. Star larger. What did they say? Here's the end of the town I found. Zombies, like in the last game.
key screen so yeah I'll probably load at the bar thing I'm done I had it as for Oh cool, I found a book. Very exciting. I mean one of the find the book that like um he wanted a book, he wanted a harmonica, he wanted a harmonica. Like how the heck? I thought that was a chest like Let's go, boy. Yep. Okay, I didn't move. Come on, come on. I don't want to pick him down behind him. This is really annoying, guys. Yep. Go, go. You're the one that's been causing trouble on Ruck's car. Relax! That's good. Oh, shit. You ain't getting
You're a wonderful man. Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Yeah, I, want, I want to be on this chair when I die. I think that is. Was it more okay for the lethal injection with the chair? I was dying for the chair. I want to die. Hey, come on, just shoot me in my heart. Hello, miss. Watch out now. Out of the way. Good day, dear. You got a brain come problem? On, watch it. Forgive me. I hate the time. It's so crazy. Like, oh, I go for something. I get that shot. Like, what? Shit, shut the hell up, little dude. Fellers. Hello. Bien Officer, how are you? Sure. Good morning. Yeah, sure. What? Giddy up! I need to say good morning. Shit. Fine, officer, how good are you? Oh, he said shit. Good morning. Not really answering my questions, I kind of. Fellers. Good morning, mister. Okay. So, welcome to our humble police house. Oh, um, can you go in? What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, 
I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Uh, look, I don't have that money on me. Uh, come back and see you soon. And I'll be here waiting. Money. If you decide to get that permit, you can just pay up. Man, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'll get this to go to the Yep. <coughs> Ooh, stranger. What a bang. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's it, boy. Okay, buddy. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And I paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. What? But I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. <laughs> no, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on board to destroy the battleships, Imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Watch the mine. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? 
You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. Okay. Another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. The shot in one more to prove. Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pog, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No. Just rays in the... Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. I say look out for mines. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Very I want to walk around here. <laughs> and I hope you will forgive my European.